Right. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Matt. Uh, given that Secretary Blinken expects a peaceful a past Palestinian authority to coexist with Israel, despite the fact that the Mira Mint Center, in its review of more than 1,000 Palestinian Authority textbooks, does not find one book that even mentions one word about peace, does the U.S. approve of the fact that UNRWA takes, that's the U.N. agency UNRWA, takes its textbooks directly from the Palestinian Authority without any supervision? And if so, where does Secretary Blinken get his optimism? And I had a follow-up. Well, I would say certainly we've heard us say that we believe the Palestinian Authority can be revamped. It can be revitalized. We don't agree with everything that the Palestinian Authority does, just as we don't agree with uh, things that others around, uh, everything that others around the world do. But we have seen the Palestinian Authority play a very constructive role in the aftermath of October 7th in maintaining stability um, uh, in the West Bank. And we believe that a path forward at the end of this conflict is for the Palestinian Authority as the legitimate representative of the Palestinian people uh, to exercise uh, a leadership role in a reunited West Bank and Gaza. Okay, in light of our federal law, that the Taylor Force Act that prohibits the government from sending American tax do uh, taxpayer dollars to the Palestinian Authority until it stops supporting terrorism, why does Secretary Blinken's response to continued U.S. funding the Palestinian Authority that continues their pay-to-slave program that encourages ter terrorist attacks against persons living in and visiting the state of Israel in direct violation of our Taylor Force we, Act. We uh, comply fully with the Taylor Force Act. Uh, uh, as I said, we do also believe that the Palestinian Authority has to play a leadership role moving forward. The there is going to be an end to this conflict at some point. And at the end of this conflict, um, there needs to be an answer to the question of who governs Gaza, who governs the West Bank. And that question needs to be ultimately determined by the Palestinian people. And right now, the Palestinian Authority is the legitimate representative of the Palestinian people, and we will look to them well, to, th to, to 30, play I just that want to role. ask, how are, we com how are we complying with the Taylor We Force comply Act? with all of its various rules and regulations. Okay,